he was just walking down the street. All I could do is call the police after it happened. He heard the gunshots and ran toward them to look and see if he could help. A good Samaritan assisting the teenager he found bleeding in the street in Sheridan. Tonight, that teenage victim is recovering in the hospital while police search for whoever shot him. KDK's Jennifer Barrasso spoke to the man who ran to help. It's an interview you'll see only on KDKA. Jen. That's right, Ken. Well, he's a pretty amazing dad, Don Charles Summers. He heard screams and didn't hesitate to help that teen lying in the street, bleeding. And he lives in Sheridan. He says he sees these shootings often, but has become desensitized. He says that he thinks he knows how these senseless shootings can stop in Pittsburgh. It's her shots. Then you, like I heard a shot, and then I heard a car pull off. And then I heard somebody scream, oh my goodness. So I'm like off top, I already knew like, it's about to be real outside when I got outside. So I... Don Charles Summers heard gunshots and a car speeding off. He ran outside his home on Glenmar Street in Sheridan in Pittsburgh. He found a 16 year old teenage boy in the street, shot in the arm and leg. I'm talking to him like, you know, they on their way, stay cool, stay calm, don't panic, don't roll over, don't do all that. Because you know, the more you panic, the more your blood gonna be out. After calling 911, Summers grabbed a shirt and applied pressure to the teen's gunshot wounds. I'm just telling him stay cool and I whisper my little prayer in my head, you know what I mean? Because just in case anything happened. The victim's younger brother watched, stunned, after seeing his brother shot. A car pulled up as they were walking down the street. He remembered the car though, like he was helpful. He remembered the car, his brother was shook up though, like it was crazy. He got shot in front of him. And yeah, they was walking down the street, I guess, because when I came out, he was just standing there. The victim in a lot of pain. He was real responsive, though, but then he started feeling like he had to throw up. He couldn't breathe. Once police arrived, officers applied tourniquets. The teen rushed to the hospital where he had surgery. Police tell me at least three shots were fired. They believe the shooting was targeted. They are still searching for the shooter. Summer says he's unfazed by the increasing violence. It happens all the time. Like, so it's like, I feel like the neighborhood is like desensitized. You know what I mean? Like, cause for real, for when I seen it, I, I ain't like, like how you're emotional, I'm not emotional like that. I asked him, what's the answer to these senseless shootings? I mean, it's on TV. It's on TV, these kids, it's like being a superstar, dang, they're like a superhero, it's like, it's when you idolize something, the way to really change it is to stop making what they idolize the idol. Ken, so he blames certain TV programs, music and video games. He's saying to me that young people are trying to make a name for themselves. Now, Pittsburgh police at last check telling me this year so far in the city, there have been 120 shootings and 60 homicides reporting live. Jennifer Barrasso, KDK News.